Hey everyone, Aaron Stewart from the uh, Little Black Couch on a Monday. Thanks for being here with me today. I am going to bring up, it, it is a Monday, so I am going to have a challenge with my son can communicate with us on Mondays, and it looks like he just did. Of course he did. I got a good afternoon, Papa, from my boy, so let me just say, hey bud, and so he's like, so missionary right now, and, and we can communicate with him on Mondays now, which is awesome. And um, yeah, so we're going to jump right in, and we'll get started with the uh, show. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day outside, so hopefully you can enjoy that as well. It doesn't look like, yeah, it doesn't, not a lot of breeze today either, so yeah, really good day to get out and play a little golf, but we'll, uh, we'll jump right in, get the intro going, and then we'll go from Computers froze up. Everybody, hold on. Woo! Mercy, that was close, right? Let me go over there. Oh, that's not good. Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> there you go. The secret's out. Oh, no. <laughs> Watch it. It's going to come on here. There it is. Yo, there's the golf course. <laughs> oh, good stuff. So, yeah, I actually had... So, I've, I've used a green screen a little bit in the past, if you, as you've all noticed. But I've, I've, t I've done and taken it to the next step. And that's, uh, I've gone and put green paper on my window, so now I can do whatever the heck I want with it. So today, golf course view. What do you think, huh? Right? Pretty good. This is stuff from, you know, the lovely Nick Fitzgerald. He's taught us all these crazy things with green screens and whatever, but isn't that better? I mean, I have, it's, I literally am like, the window goes out to some kind of a weird alley. Um, so, in fact, I actually... So our offices are located here in Provo, but they're like right next to the river. And so in the summertime, we have like, um, is vagabonds, is that a, a PC term? But we have folks that live at the river that are homeless, it's totally sad. But um, we had, it was probably two summers ago, I was in here working late. It was like seven or eight o'clock. And we've since built a fence around kind of the outside there uh, to keep them out of the golf course. No, but we had um, two ladies get in the back right here and they didn't know like anybody's in here. I, I typically work with all lights off and just the computer on because it's easier on my eyes. So they didn't know anybody was in here, but they shot up heroin in the back. And then like one of them overdosed and the one lady was freaking out trying to revive her friend. So I had to call 911 and had the firemen and the, the police. And I'll be, I mean, I, I am, they were here so fast. I couldn't believe it. I called 911. It was like before I could get the phone down fire trucks and ambulance and everybody came running in. And so I had to like hang up the phone and run out the door to meet them and take them in the back so they could go find this poor lady. And I guess the, uh, the French just like took off running because if they get caught, it's a bad deal. And then uh, they, they were able to revive this lady. I mean, it was brutal. I mean, they had to shove something. It was like, it was really hard to watch, but they saved her. I mean, I was just completely amazed with these public servants and I, I was amazed. I was totally amazed. So it was, um, anyway, I did write a letter to the mayor to say thank you. And a buddy of mine's a chief of police, so I let him know. It was awesome. And anyway, really, really um, sad. But it was amazing to see what kind of um, folks we have, you know, helping us out that uh, do so much for us. Um, anyway, so as you can tell by the title today, I wanted to talk a little bit about this concept of Dream 100 and then this concept of SEO and kind of another part of SEO, namely links. And I kind of wanted to combine the two together so it becomes kind of a, a cool business strategy, kind of two birds, one stone. I know that that's probably gross and nobody wants to think about that, but it's a, it's a way to really leverage some pretty solid SEO tactics and techniques 
to help your page rank higher and bring in more free traffic, but it's also a way to get your, the attention of your Dream 100, um, whether it's to their organization and moving up or whatever, but it's a great way to go about it. So, and this is just kind of a strategy that came to my mind as I was thinking about SEO and Dream 100. And, and it goes back to, I know that we've talked a lot about, we as entrepreneurs have to be creative and come up with really creative and new solutions for different types of problems. And so, and this was like a perfect example for me. I listened to and paid attention to this whole concept of the Dream 100, which essentially for those that don't understand, it's a way that, that Chet Holmes sort of preached how to expand your business. And he used it in a, well, he used it a lot in his business. And Chet Holmes was a brilliant marketing mind used to be really close partners with Tony uh, Robbins. And, um, and then uh, now uh, uh, Russell Brunson talks about him as well. And I guess Russell had some experience with him, but one of the concepts that is in Chet's book, which is the, what is that, Marketing Machine or something like that? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Mega Marketing Machine or something. I wish I remembered it, but um, interesting read for sure. You can kind of tell, you can kind of tell that, um, that wasn't the real title and I'll just leave it at that. If you read the book, you know what the, re the real title was because he says it, you know, throughout the book, but it's not the title that actually got to the front of the book. But anyway, he was um, tenacious. Chet Holmes was tenacious and I don't know, he used to be on the radio all the time. He has a very distinct voice, very distinct voice. And um, anyway, neither here nor there, but he has this concept of Dream 100, which is essentially that look, you've got a lot of people out there who've done a lot of really great things and have been super, super successful. Why not help them with their business and get access to their clients and help them and then so they would then become your clients without needing to go and spend tons and tons of money of trying to grow your own business from the ground up. Okay, I mean, that's essentially the concept is why not go out and do enough good for enough people that have been already successful that you can kind of tap in to what they're already doing because you become you know, friends with these individuals, you have similar client bases and that you're providing a lot of value for their clients. I and mean, that's the bottom line. If you want to get to this Dream 100, and, and the Dream 100 essentially is the 100 people, the number is not really so much, the Dream 100 is interesting because it's, you don't necessarily need 100 people, but the Dream 100 was this concept that you could come up with 100 people or clients or influencers within your um, industry that you could do enough for that person and for their followers, deliver enough value that eventually they wouldn't mind joining up with you and, and allowing you to market to their people. Now, obviously they would make some money off the deal too, you'd split it, do some sort of joint venture agreement or whatever. But that's the concept is that you would come and create enough value where you'd get this person's attention and then this person would be interested in partnering up with you and allowing you to pitch their clients because it's gonna help them and their clients but it's also going to bring this Dream 100 member um, some notoriety, some benefits, some cash, I mean all of that, right? So that's the whole concept of the Dream 100 and then leveraging that to go on. And just the way humans work, if you get one of those Dream 100 in the industry, um, it's usually so incestuous and everybody knows each other well enough that they figured out that there's abundance and you don't really need to absolutely hate one another to be successful, you can support one another. That if you get in with one of these influencers, one of these Dream 100 folks, you can usually get introductions to others. And, it's, and, and plus, the competitor is always watching. So if you get hold of one Dream 100 and do something with them and it goes really well, it's very easy to reach out to the others in the Dream 100 and get something going with them as well. So you can see your business sort of just, just take off if you can get one of the Dream 100 to go with you. Okay, so that being said, so it's a process then to attract and get in front of these Dream 100 folks. So why not use that to your advantage? We should all use it to our advantage. And this goes into the SEO part of it and the part I wanted to talk about. So when you are um, creating content in order for it to rank well, we might be doing podcasts, we might be doing lives, we might be doing blog posts, 
whatever. We may be creating app, apps that we're pushing out there for free to try to get people to notice. There's a lot of different ways to try to push content out there to get people that be interested to be interested in what we're trying to do, um, and, and what we're trying to sell, what we're trying to accomplish, um, what kind of authority we're trying to establish. All of that can happen with content. So. When you're doing this content and you're creating this content, have that dream 100 in mind for sure and create content that would be a benefit to their tribe. But also when you publish them, make sure that you're linking out to their properties. So if you find a really good article uh, from one of your dream 100 folks, then you write a synopsis and your analysis of what they wrote and you're super, super positive and you link back to their article and you talk about how great they are and stuff, once you get done with that really cool piece of technology, I mean that really cool piece of content that is optimized, has your keywords, is linking back to them, and this is really, this is about linking. Um, linking is important in search engine optimization because Google uses at, use, looks at links like a, like a popularity contest. So the more people that link to your page, the more relevant and the more helpful Google assumes that page to be. Like nobody's going to link to a piece of garbage and drive their people to a piece of garbage. So if a lot of people are linking to your article, then you've obviously done a good job and that means something to Google. They will rank your page higher in that regard. Again, we're talking about organic rankings, not paid rankings. We're talking about organic, not paid ads, but organic rankings, right? 94% of clicks still go to organic rankings. So we want to do well there. So we write a really cool piece of a really cool piece of content, or we um, do a really cool live and we have it typed out. Whatever it is, we do a really good podcast and we reference this Dream 100 person and their tribe and what they're trying to accomplish. We talk about what they're doing. We talk about their new launch. We talk about their philosophies. We talk about say like for like Chet Holmes. I would talk about how cool the. Dream 100 is and the concept is and how it can help your business and how brilliant it is and these are the steps to do it and Chet's the one who did all this. I would do something like that. I would publish it and I would make sure that it linked out, at least the text portion of it would link back out to Chet's site and, you know, God rest his soul. Um, but I would link out to those, into, to, the, to their site, to that area where that piece of content is. And then I would alert their people and say, hey, I just did a really cool piece of content about this Dream 100 person or about their product or about whatever because I really loved the product and, I, and so I communicated that to my audience and I just wanted to let you know that I think it's awesome and here's the article and what do you think? And if you like it, could you link to it? That's where you get a really cool link. So if you can start getting links from your Dream 100 people back to you, that will grow your business. Besides, the, besides everything that could come of having that uh, relationship with the Dream 100 person, marketing to their list and all of that, if you start getting links from these Dream 100 folks that are very successful, they have very good sites that are well, um, well, well represented and well linked and considered authoritative by Google and you start getting links from these individuals, then your rankings, is gonna, your rankings are gonna go up quite quickly and you're going to see the free traffic start flowing into your site even before you're able, even before you even market to the Stream 100 person, right? You've delivered tons of value to them and you've let them know, hey, I am really interested in who you are and what you do and what your message is and your products are and your services are and all of that and you've written a really great piece of content or three or four or five of them or ten, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it just depends on how much you want to be in front of that Dream 100 person. But if you do it that way, optimize it, put it on your site, put it on Medium, put it on wherever. Medium's really good too because there's so many people coming there anyway. And you're talking about them and then you let that Dream 100 person know, this is what I've done, this is where it is, could you link to it? If they're going to link to it, it would really be best if it was on your page, on your site. It does take some time to get some rankings going on your site if you haven't been publishing consistently. But I'll tell you what, you put up a really good piece of content, you optimize it right with the proper keywords that we talked about previously, and then you start getting links from your Dream 100s to these different articles on your blog or to your site, boom. Your rankings will go up dramatically.
Okay, and now we're talking free traffic. Okay, so that's kind of the strategy that kind of popped up in my head as, as I was thinking about it. And as, as I mentioned, this was just a situation where somebody was talking about Dream 100. And so, okay, that's a cool concept. And, and, and you, you know, there's this Dream 100 concept. Somebody was, I think it was Russell, was talking about it again, or I saw some training talking about it again. I knew about the Dream 100, but I'd also been to, actually, yeah, I had been to uh, Unlock the Secrets, and Russell Brunson was talking about the Dream 100 again, and we went through a little process of that. It's like, okay, now I've got the Dream 100, and now I've been talking about SEO, which I know, obviously, a lot about. And because I was talking about those things recently and knew about them both recently, boom, this, this concept came together, right? This potential solution to leverage the Dream 100, the pursuit of the Dream 100, and how to do that with really good content that could also help your site rank well before you even got anything out of the Dream 100. So literally the Dream 100 and pursuing the Dream 100 then becomes a really amazing uh, strategy to grow your business. Even before you're able to get them in JV on anything, you are still benefiting from them linking to your really cool stuff about them. Hopefully that makes some sense, but it's really a, it's a cool strategy. It's time to implement because if you're going after your Dream 100 anyway, you might as well utilize all of that work to benefit your business now and into the future because SEO is evergreen traffic, free evergreen traffic forever. And it's definitely worth the investment now, especially if you're going to do it to go get your Dream 100. Hopefully that makes some sense. If it does not, let me know. We'll do another one about it, but it's a great, I think it's a great strategy, right? So, yeah, but that's what, I, I will say this, that's about what we talk about. When I talk about entrepreneurs and keeping your minds open and learning tons of different things and then allowing those things to percolate and just let's see what happens. So don't just read self-help books and don't just read spy novels and don't just read whatever. Take it all in whatever you're interested in, bring it all in and then let's see what kind of solutions come out of that because the more we know, the more possible, the more we are going to have opportunity to come up with unique solutions to unique problems. Okay, so thanks for being with me today. Aaron Stewart from The Little Black Couch where we absolutely love entrepreneurship and we are here to make sure that your dream of being an entrepreneur does not become a nightmare. Till next time, be good and do well. Thanks.